we have a question here which uh, comes from a book so I know that the numbers are going to work out nicely uh, and we um, we have a 5 volt supply at the top we have various resistors around the circuit and we have uh, an unknown VS supply voltage down the bottom uh, and we're told that I3 this one here is 0 0.75 amps and we have to find these other things down the side here so uh, making a start for I1 it makes sense to consider this loop uh, the first loop here um, around A, B, C, D so if we consider A, B, C, D uh, the sum of the voltages around there has to be zero um, which means if we start from A to B there is nothing there so we can ignore that B to C we've got uh, V equals IR remember so the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistor will be um, it's minus because it's dropping uh, four, uh, sorry, 0 0.75 times 4 times 4 uh, and the next one from C to D we've got the 2 ohm resistor now we don't know the current through that but the current must be I1 so we should have I1 passing through that 2 ohm resistor that means we can um, we can come up with uh, a, a sort of an expression for the voltage in fact if I put brackets around each section it will be a little bit easier so um, we are adding this is a loss in voltage so minus um, I1 times by um, 2 and in the last section let's just go back up to there uh, from D to, back to A we're going from the negative to the positive so we're increasing by 5 volts so it's going to be plus 5 onto our equation plus 5 that's an easy one and now if we um, if we simplify all of this out we will get minus 3 volts plus 2 oh, let's scrap that, that's minus 2i1 plus 5 which means that i1 equals to 1 amp so that's nice, done that um, coming back across if we now know that I1 is 1 amp and this is 0 0.75 um, that means I2 must be what? For well, everything going into the circuit, this is the second law, this is the Kirchhoff's current law everything going into the node, uh, the node at B um, has to equal everything coming out of the node coming out of the node we've got 0.75 and an unknown going in is 1 so this 0.75 plus I2 must equal to 1 um, that means, uh, let's draw it in an equation form uh, for, uh, we'll do it this way 1 equals 0 0.75 plus uh, I2 so I2 equals 1 minus 0 0.75 which is 0 0.25 amps easy peasy now if we look at the final thing we have to find Vs and it makes sense that we'll deal with this loop from B E F C so uh, let's go sideways so loop B E F C remember the sum of the voltages has to equal zero and going across we're going to have a Vs or plus Vs because nothing from B to E E to F it's plus uh, Vs so we've got Vs and then uh, from F to C we've got um, I2 times that resistance uh, I2 was 0 0.75 uh, 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 times 8 that's minus let's just put brackets around that so it's very clear and then remember across the 4 ohm resistor it was 3 volt drop but we're going in the opposite direction to the current flow so this is a gain in voltage of 3 volts so this time it's plus 3 and all that has to equal 0 so if we rearrange that well let's just write it down full Vs minus uh, 2 plus 3 equals 0 
and this means Vs equals uh, must be one volt. One minor error that I've just noticed that I've made is uh, with uh, Vs. Vs should be negative in this case because if we go back across we can see we've travelled across that way which is from positive uh, to, to negative um, so that means we're going in the opposite direction to conventional current that means it should be a minus uh, over here so that, that becomes a minus uh, minus Vs and um, the reason I saw this before because it should have given us Vs equals negative 1 um, but that's not the case uh, and, and because it's actually negative Vs is a negative reading um, so I should have minus it as I've got in here which rearranges to give Vs equal to 1 volt and that's correct so that's Kirchhoff's voltage laws and Kirchhoff's current laws um, in a working example where it all seems to make sense.